ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now to look at the day on Wall Street. And it appears it was a stock market looking for any sort of direction today, Richard. Scott, you're exactly right. And I don't know that we found it. Uh, frankly, for the day, the up and down range was more than 100 points, up 58 at the high, down 46 at the low. But we just really didn't go anywhere at all. The biggest move we saw all day by any index we follow was just two-tenths of 1%. There was one shining star, and that is for a change. We saw retail stocks moving higher. And believe it or not, that's because their earnings, they lost less money than people thought they were going to lose. So welcome to my world. Let's take a look at the figures at the close. There you see the Dow down 29 points, 13 one hundredths of 1%, closing at 21,783.40, that on volume of 644 million shares. The NASDAQ for the day down one-tenth of 1%, 7 points at 6,271.33. That on volume of 1,409,000,000 shares. The S&P down two-tenths of 1%, five points at 2,438.97. Well, there's a revolution coming to the grocery business, and it's coming very quickly. Last night, the Federal Trade Commission okayed the purchase of Whole Foods by Amazon, and Amazon today said that when the deal closes on Monday, they will immediately begin dropping prices of what they called staples, those at your local Whole Foods store. So you're going to see some drop in prices right away. They also said that if you happen to be a member of Amazon Prime, you're going to be allowed to get special discounts within the store, and you're going to get special coupons as well. So if you are a Whole Foods customer, according to what they said at Amazon, you're going to get Whole Foods quality at Amazon prices. That's a pretty good deal. All right. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome.